When the Pixel 7a was first announced, and it was announced to be $499, that was a $50 jump from the Pixel 6a, bringing it within about $100 of the Pixel 7, a lot of people sort of wondered out loud, what is going on here? Why would anyone buy the Pixel 7a if the Pixel 7 is only $100 away? This seemed like a very odd way to price this device. Well, today, this morning, some rumors circulating around the internet kind of, I think, makes what their strategy is going to be going forward a little bit more clear. So let's turn our attention here to a tweet from Yogesh Brar, this individual has been quite reliable in terms of their tech tipstering. And they have a spec sheet, some details here for the Google Pixel 8. Yes, indeed, we must talk about the Pixel 8 to make sense of the pricing of the Pixel 7a. So a lot of this is stuff that we've kind of already known, right? The 6.17 inch display, 120 hertz. Google Tensor G3 should be improved over the G2 by quite a bit, but still falling short of the flagship Snapdragon processors, eight gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage, 50 megapixel GN2 sensor, which should be a pretty good upgrade considering it is physically much larger than the sensor they've been using in the past. 12 megapixel ultra, of course, this is the Pixel 8, not the 8 Pro. The 8 Pro will have a larger screen as well as that periscope telephoto zoom lens. But again, this is just the Pixel 8. 11 megapixel for the selfie camera, Android 14 launching alongside it, which will be great because that's going to come to these other Google Pixel devices as well. Here's a big upgrade, an ultrasonic fingerprint scanner. A lot of people have had problems with the fingerprint scanner that is in the current Google Pixels, the 6, the 7, I think the 6a, the 7a. The Pixel Fold is immune to this because they have their fingerprint scanner where it should be mounted to the side of the device. Absolutely wonderful. But for those people who have had problems with the fingerprint scanner in the prior Pixel devices, we're going to be getting apparently an ultrasonic scanner, which should be a lot faster, a lot better. Ultrasonic scanners are just better. So this is good to see. 4,500 milliamp hour battery, 24 watt wire charging is not great, but whatever. 12 watt wireless also not particularly spectacular. But the bit here that I want you to really pay attention to is the price. 649 to 699. That is a pretty darn substantial price increase. The Pixel 7 launched at $599, so we're going from $50 to $100 for a price increase on the Pixel 8. Again, if your gauge here is to be believed. Now, how does this make sense of the Pixel 7a pricing? Well, I think going forward, that's going to be our template. I think that the A series will be $499, and then rather than the standard model of the flagship being $599, perhaps it is $699. Now you have a couple hundred dollars gap between the A-Series and the base model of the flagship. Now, where does the Pixel 7 Pro end up? Do we get a $100 price jump in it as well? I would think it's quite possible. The Pro has been cheaper than other flagships on the market for a while now. Perhaps Google thinks, hey, it's a pretty darn great device. The Pixel 7 Pro reviewed extremely well. It was extremely well received. One of my favorite devices of last year. Maybe they think the 8 Pro takes another step forward and can therefore justify increasing that price in a similar manner to what we've already seen with the 7A with what is going to be the 8. Perhaps the 8 Pro follows suit. Now, of course, on this channel, we've talked about the Pixel 8 and 8 Pro quite a bit. There are some interesting things coming. A thermometer on the back of the 8 Pro, a flat screen for the 8 Pro display, far brighter screens on all devices, which should bring it nearly in line with the S23 Ultra. Of course, like I said, that Tensor G3 is going to be quite a bit faster than before. The primary sensor for the camera is quite a bit larger than before, which should aid low light. It should aid detail, focusing speed. All of that stuff should be better with that larger sensor. It's shaping up to be a fantastic device, albeit a device that might be more expensive than it was before. Guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. Subscribe for more content just like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friend.